In this video we're going to take a look at Recon NG, which is a reconnaissance framework designed with the goal of providing a powerful environment to conduct open source web-based reconnaissance quickly and thoroughly. It's designed to look and feel similar to the Metasploit framework, and we can see here from the manual that we can launch it with some different options, so we might want to launch each project with a different workspace to try and keep track of different targets or different clients. Um, and some other options here as well to specify. We also have some documentation as well which we can follow along with, so I'm going to open that up. Uh, this will take us to the wiki, and in here you can have a look at the features and also API keys. So features will basically give you documentation for, for all the various commands that you can use within the tool, and the API keys section will explain how to set up different API keys for different services. So some of the services that you'll query using this tool will need an API key, so you'll need to go and set up an account. But this describes quite well how to do that for each of the services. So we'll keep that open in case we need to go back to it for now. I'm just going to launch the program without any additional options. You'll notice that this launched and said that we have no modules enabled or installed. So that's something we'll need to take care of. But in terms of using this tool, you can hit tab anytime you're not too sure of the commands, and it'll give you a list of commands that we can enter there, and we can also use autocomplete on those. And you can use the help option as well, so help will give us a list of the different commands here and a little bit of information about them. And then if we want to drill down on that, we can say like help marketplace, and that'll give us the additional commands. So we can then run marketplace info or install or whatever, and again, info we now have some additional options here, so I'm going to say all, and that'll give us a list of all the different plugins essentially that we can install now from the marketplace. So something we might want to do is you could go through and select some here that you want to install specifically, or so for example, marketplace install reporting. Again, we've got autocomplete here, so we might want to install XML and that'll just install that for us. But we can just install as well, go and install all plugins. You can see that they've all been installed, but we have some errors letting us know that we won't be able to use a lot of these modules because we don't have API keys set or some other additional configurations might be needed. But now that we have those, let's try and test them out. So we can do here modules, again, use autocomplete, use tab to autocomplete if you're not too sure what the possibilities are here. And then this is going to give us a list of all our options. In this case, I'm going to select recon domains host and Bing domain web. So you can play around with some of these. I was playing around with a couple earlier and just because I wasn't sure which ones needed API keys and which ones are going to bring back results, I'm just going to demonstrate this one because I know it will at least bring back something for us. So you select it and then you can type info to get some information about the module. So you can see here this is going to harvest host from bings.com and options that need to be provided. So in this case we need to specify a domain. So we can say here options set and then source. Again I just use autocomplete there with tab. I'm going to set that to qb.ac.uk and then we can go ahead and run. So it's going to run through. You can see it's coming back with a lot of different subdomains that are available for QUB. So I sped that up a little bit and ended up cancelling it because it's taken a little while to run. But we did get back quite a few subdomains. You can see it was using the sleep to avoid being locked out by Bing. So now that we've done that, we can use commands like let's do show. I'm going to hit tab here and you can see these are the different types of data that we'll be able to look for. So in this case, I'm going to do show hosts. And that's basically added all of these hosts to the database. And we can query these as well in the database. We can use here query uh, database and we'll do query select um, all from hosts. You can see that brings back the 100 rows. We can say db delete hosts and it'll ask us which row we want to delete or we can say we want to delete a certain amount of rows. We've deleted the first 10 rows in that case. And we could go ahead and add something there as well. So if we wanted to do insert a host, we can do db insert host. 
and it'll ask us for the uh, hosts and it'll ask us for the information there so we might say qub.ac.uk and give it an IP address and you don't have to fill in all of the information there and then again we could go back and query those hosts and you can see that our user defined host has been added to the end of that. So play around with some of these different modules that are available. Once you've run some modules and retrieved information you might want to look into domains and accounts, github repos, things like that and then you can look at some of the reporting modules as well. So if we do modules load reporting and remember we have some different options here we might want to select CSV and let's see if we do info do we need to provide anything so we can provide a file name here if we want to that should be okay here so I'll just grab a copy of that so we can check it out let me run it and you can see it's added 91 records because we had that selected to save the host table but we could have changed that table to something else remember we have if we do show we have a lot of different other things here but in our case we didn't retrieve any credentials or any locations or anything like that all we grabbed from Bing was the hosts. So providing that you run a few different modules you should have more information to export here in this case. Let's go and open up a new tab and I'll open up that results CSV. Oops I opened it in Sublime. Um, let's... Uh, I'll, copy it, I'll copy it here and let's just open it up with Excel to get a better look so you can see that it's created a nice spreadsheet for us.